Algebra 2 CRUM, New York State, Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Complex Numbers, Question 7, Graph a Complex Conjugate. Inbox me at kneemedicine at gmail.com to order your complete study package. Review Question 7, Complex Numbers. The complex number negative 4 plus 3i is shown in graphical form. Write and sketch its conjugate. What graphical transformation relates the complex number and its conjugate? Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so when you have a binomial of the form a plus bi, which is the formatting for negative 4 plus 3i, we can take negative 4 as our a constant and 3i as our imaginary number with the coefficient b being 3. Okay, so when you have this form, the conjugate is going to be a minus bi the only difference between each pair of the conjugate is the deferring operation between them. And this is valid for basically addition of, and subtraction, not for any other set of opposing operations, okay? So if our a is negative 4 and our b is um, 3i, its conjugate is obviously going to be negative 4 minus 3i based on the concept that we just discussed. All right, so the graph of its conjugate is going to be negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 3i. So we have 1i down, 2i down, 3i down. So the graph should stop here. And this is the graph of um, the conjugate of negative 4 plus 3i. And we see that there's basically then a reflection about the x-axis or a vertical flip, not a horizontal flip. Vertical flips correspond to reflections about the x-axis and horizontal flips correspond to reflections about the y-axis. All right, so this is our final answer. And again, we experience a reflection over the x-axis to form the graph of the conjugate of the original graph.